protecting the root and intermediate CAs. It's important to understand that if your root CA or intermediate CAs are hacked into, it can compromise your whole PKA hierarchy. Now with that in mind, we must ensure that these CAs in particular are well protected. So let's take a look at some of the things we can do to protect the root CA. Well first of all, we could actually turn the root CA off. Yeah, you heard that right, just power it down. That'll certainly make it difficult to hack, but it might not be the best solution for you. If you are running enterprise CAs and your root or intermediate CAs are Active Directory members, you'll run into some problems when Active Directory attempts to renew the server's computer account every 30 days. Now sure, you could power up the server for long enough to renew the computer account's password, but now that's leaning towards becoming too much of a pain to be useful. The solution to this problem is making these root and intermediate standalone CAs rather than enterprise CAs, but we'll talk about more of that shortly. Now assuming we don't turn the server off, we could make the root and intermediate CAs members of a work group instead of a domain. That way, if the domain administrator account is somehow compromised, it won't affect your entire PKI as the domain account will have no privileges on your work group. Now we can remove the server from the network. Now this would mean physically picking it up, taking it off site somewhere or disconnecting it from your network and putting it on a different network that has no actual connection to your normal network. You could also choose to stop the certificate services service from the computer management MMC. Make sure you set the service to manual so it doesn't automatically start up when the server is rebooted. Now finally, you can restrict and secure physical access to the server itself. Okay, so with that checklist in mind, let's start by installing our root CA. 